Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I find going on in the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. We're going to start off with a confirmed guest for TFCon Toronto. So if you're lucky enough to be going there, check out Paul Eiling because of course he is the voice actor from Perceptor and the Quintessons in the Generation 1 cartoon. Another great confirmed guest there, so if you're gonna go, you might as well go get some signed piece of memorabilia from him. Moving on, this is something that's really great and the pictures aren't gonna do any justice and also I couldn't take, and I obviously can't show you the videos, but if you head to TFW 2005, they've got Rise of the Beasts, concept art and other materials. So, as I say, there's um, some concept artwork of Freezer and there's some ones of uh, Scourge and everything as well. But again, I can't show you the videos. If you liked the movie and you're a fan of it, I strongly recommend that you go and have a look at that because again, it's just great to see how things have changed and how they obviously turned out with regards to the concept, the early designs and to how they finished up. Right, moving on to something that just again looks incredible. This is the Rise of the Beast Robosan Optimus Prime. Now I've got these images via TFW 2005. They're on Robosan's website as well, where they've got some different ones and they've got some videos. And they're on lots of social media platforms at the moment. There is a huge, huge write-up of this figure on that particular website. I'm not gonna read all that out to you. I suppose the only thing that you need to know, there's a video there, is there's obviously a full animatronic robot. This one, however, doesn't unfortunately transform like the flagship one. This is just, I suppose, exactly that, a robot that you can control, give it commands via an app, etc. But the detail on this is, it, it's just incredible, it really is. So there's the package and it comes in. I've only got a few, but I've, I've probably got about 20 screenshots to show you, but via TFW 2005, there's like well over 100, it's crazy. So this is the package and it comes in, all premium, looking absolutely fantastic. There he is inside the packaging. And again, don't forget, this is a big, big figure. For, um, there's the accessories. For a size comparison, there's your Studio Series Voyager Class Bumblebee Optimus Prime figure. So this is that's the base there that he's gonna stand on. It's gonna give you an idea of just how big this robot is. There you go, it's massive. I think we first saw images of this at the New York event in Brooklyn regarding the movie. I mean, again, the pictures on this and especially these with the reflections, so I do apologize, do not do this any justice. If you like the movies, if you like this particular movie version of Optimus Prime, and let's be honest, if you can afford it, this is the definitive version of him. Um, as I say, I've just took a few screenshots. He's got so many different accessories. He's got LEDs, he's got battle damage, he's got weathering. He's got, look at all that molding detail there in the midsection. Um, then of course on the thighs as well. And again, remember, loads of points of articulation. He does move, he does, as I say, voice commands, etc. Just an amazing, look at the detail on the back. It's nuts. Um, these are just absolutely, they blow my mind, as I say, being a kid, when Transformers first come out in the 80s and seeing these now is just incredible. Right, excuse me, hay fever's kicking in. <laughs> excuse me. There, of course, he's got the matrix in his chest and there, of course, it lights up with the LED function. I've got a good shot here in a second of the LEDs, not only in the matrix there, but also um, the other ones on the figure itself. There's, of course, the coin that comes with him inside the packaging and it's got a limited edition number at the bottom. There's the LED, so we've got the eyes, the chest, and indeed his gun. And then just another promotional one there. See the bottom of that page, it says Optimus Prime LE 070, um, and that one's number 78. That's the 78th picture they've got, but there's, there's more than that. So as I say, if you wanna see a load of these, head to TFW 2005. This is now, of course, confirmed. We did a leak on this the other day. So let me get make sure I get this right, because again, my G.I. Joe knowledge isn't the greatest. This is Thunder Machine Soundwave. It's official, there's point uh, pre-orders rather available on Hasbro Pulse and other online stores. And there you go, he looks kind of blocky. He looks, he looks kind of fun to be fair. Um, and I don't know whether I'll get him initially, I might wait for him to be reduced. Uh, but I think he looks good, it's one of my more favorite ones, shall we say. I still haven't seen the His Tank in person, and I obviously reviewed the Bumblebee one, but I think this guy looks slightly better in all honesty. Right, once again, I've only got a few screenshots of this. 
There's, if you go to Hasbro Pulse, or indeed most of the other websites, there is a 36 minute video, I think it is, with Evan talking about the, uh, this is the first color prototype, I can't remember the exact thing he called it, EP01, I think he said. Um, and it's of Deathsaurus, obviously, the next HasLab that's coming out. It's a really good video, to be honest. Uh, what he does is it, there's the video there. You can get it via TFW 2005 or Pulse. Um, and as I say, so he shows the product, or the prototype rather, in the colors that they are. That's not the finished product, it does say that on the bottom corner, and he does say it all the way through. But what you get to see is the two, of course, MicroMasters that are coming with him. You get to see how they, of course, all line up as all four. He does, he does a few comparisons, of course, with uh, Victory Sabre and Hound. But what's really important, you get to see how all the other accessories uh, transform um, and they convert all together, how they all can be used. There, of course, are the Breastmasters that he's got, or Tiger Chest and Eagle Chest in their weapon modes as well. He then transforms to and from, to be honest, to and from both particular modes. So you get to see that, see the transformation process, see with all the accessories and, of course, see him sitting in a throne now once again there are an absolute abundance loads more images of this on the website and indeed if you want to, i'd say watch the video it's really interesting just to see um, and indeed get the take from the person who's making it it's really really interesting and i don't want to bore everybody who's not got it or who's not ordered it so i've just shown a few pictures of it right moving on to third party dr Wu's weibo page has teased us with a picture of mirage so it looks like He's not Mirage, <laughs> Wheeljack. Um, so it looks like obviously we're gonna be getting Wheeljack pretty soon. I'll keep my eye on that to let you guys know as and when it's available. Um, on Magic Square's Weibo page, they're still uh, sharing lots of images of their take on Swindle. And that is of course because Onslaught is imminent. And on New Age, there's a video already of the new, their take on Sludge. So loads of things going on with third party and including this, Iron Factory have just released their images on, of course, G2 Leadfoot. Uh, of course, for those people who collect Mainline, this was, of course, released as part of the Wreckers where, um, set of five capsules that they released last year. They had him with a fossilizer. I'm pretty sure they did now, I've said that. Uh, but this is Iron Factory's take on it, and Iron Factory, for people who don't know, is a third-party legend scale uh, figure producer. So if you're interested where you can get any of the third party stuff, then you need to check out a website called ShowZ. I'm lucky enough to be doing reviews for them. I'm gonna show you some things about that in a second. Before we get there though, these have just appeared online. These look to be uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. So we've got two different pops, Rodimus Prime in Galvatron toy mode and a lovely looking Soundwave backpack. So that's the only images we've got so far. Once we get more, I will of course, let you know i'm loving the galvatron that's really really good right there we go so this is shows you website if you want to help me out which would be greatly appreciated in that first bar if you put toys r us all one word what this does is it lets me see not you personally where you're going in your name and all your details it just lets me see people who watch this channel what they're buying and of course it helps me with my research on things i should be buying to help with the reviews so of course there's no point me buying something that nobody else is completely interested in so if you could support this channel it would be 100 percent of course grateful then of course here's some of the pre-orders there's the sludge i mentioned there's um some of the Magic Square Constructor Cons. There's so much on here. There's the Onslaught I mentioned. There's official Takara products as well. You're gonna see in a second, Cayenne and Hoist. There's also Pango Toys, which are third party versions of third party company, New Age. There's so much on there, it's crazy. There's your pre-order Dr. Wu uh, Shatterglass Magnus. And of course, there's a flash sale. Keep your eye on the sale. Look, there's MP uh, G01, the Shuki. There's so much on here, guys. There's really is some good deals, nice bargains to be had, and um, yeah, loads of things on there to have a nose at. So with regards to the channel, again, catching up with the Rise of the Beast figures, I've also got a Japanese Generation 1 Headmaster uh, loafer. I'm going to be putting that up. I've got the X-Transbots trailer to do the Menosaur. That is the worst thing in the world I've found to transform. I 100% I'm not enjoying it. I've got to admit it, I'm not enjoying it. I'll tell you that in the review as well. Um, and I've just got loads more in the pipeline. So thank you ever so much for all the support. Normal Comic will be back Saturday morning as well. And again, I'll just keep you guys updated with things going on. Thanks very much. Take care.